Were you at your event or maybe in an event production meeting and you heard the term DSM and you were like, what is a DSM? Well, I'm an event producer. My name is Logan Clements and I am gonna break down exactly what a DSM is, how you use it so you are better informed for your next meeting or your next time you're working with an AV company. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. And if you like more free content, I'm the co-host of the Better Events Podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. We drop new episodes every single Wednesday and we dive even more in depth into some of these topics and terms that I talk about here in my YouTube videos. You can listen wherever you listen to podcasts. Also, if you've been enjoying at all what you're learning from my videos, please consider buying me a coffee. I have the link down below in the description, so feel free if you feel like you're getting value out of what I'm providing to buy me a coffee or two. Okay, so as an event professional, I know one of the most frustrating things for me when I first started was not knowing all of the terms or the acronyms that we throw around sometimes in the industry. And while I always encourage folks who are new to try to find, you know, take a note of any terms you don't know and then try to find a moment later to ask a more experienced person what that term means. Maybe it's not in the moment, it's maybe privately afterward, but it does help if we actually know what these terms are that we're talking about. And DSM is one when I first started in production, I remember also being like, I don't know what this is. And now it's a term that I use all the time. So what is a DSM? A DSM is a downstage monitor. So what this means is downstage, which would be back in the olden days of theater when it used to be on a slant. That's why you can have upstage is kind of like farther backstage from the audience perspective. Downstage is closer to the audience from the audience perspective. So downstage would be actually at the edge of the stage or often we put it off the stage that is where we would place the dsm the downstage monitor and these are often just like tv monitors that you might have at home but what it is used for is for speaker notes it can be used for a teleprompter it can also be as simple as it just shows them the slides or the graphics that they're seeing on the screens behind them so the speaker doesn't have to turn around and look to see if his slides advanced, if her slides advanced, if she's talking to the right part of her presentation, it just provides that extra level of confidence, my viewers, because an alternative term for DSM is a confidence monitor. These terms are used interchangeably. Confidence monitor, DSM, downstage monitor, they literally mean the same thing. Confidence monitor, I feel like, is just maybe a little bit more speaker friendly term because it just again it's a confidence monitor it shows them their notes or their slides or something it's just supposed to give them confidence that what they're speaking to is what everyone is seeing behind them i often use these at bigger shows so meaning folks that have a larger production budget but i have started using it with some of my nonprofits who are just looking to up their production level by having that downstage monitor that dsm you are able to take notes out of people's hands so they you know are able to kind of move their hands around and be a little bit more dynamic it also enables you to have maybe more prepared remarks if that's your goal or a loose script. It can be everything as like word for word of exactly what you want people to say to more bullets. Um, but I highly recommend it. It's a great and easy tool. Again, it's the cost of usually the, eight, the monitors itself and then having the laptop that feeds into them for whatever notes or presentation you're showing. It can get expensive if you're actually using it like a true teleprompter because then the operator sitting there really needs to you know, be well versed in following the person who's speaking and scrolling at the same pace that they're talking. But I've also used like an event assistant or an associate producer on my projects to just advance to the next slide if it's as simple as that. So yeah, that's a downstage monitor. You might hear it as a DSM, you hear it as a confidence monitor. Think of it as a speaker tool or a content tool and something that if you're doing a larger show for, I mean, I'd say a couple hundred people, this is almost a requirement and you're using professional speakers, they will expect to have this. If you're a smaller event and you're maybe only doing about 30, 50 or 100 people, this might not be as much of a requirement for you, but just good to know what it is in the future should any producer or AV partner start to talk to you about if you want these or not. Well, that brings me to the end of my video. I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do videos all about event production, event management, Zoom, hybrid events, virtual events, you name it, probably have a video on it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>